everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Vinyasa Flow, 12 p.m. Just gonna give everybody a minute or so just to make their way onto their mats. Um, my name is Chanel, by the way. If you didn't join me last week, welcome this week. Say hi in the comments. Drop me a line. For everybody else, if you're ready to go, make your way onto your mat. We are gonna begin laying flat on our backs in Shavasana. So slowly begin to make your way there. Just a couple notes about our practice today. I just wanna ensure that everybody takes time in their body to follow their own natural cues. I am gonna be cueing the voice, the, the breath throughout the duration of our practice, but ensure you're inhaling to a full count of four, exhaling to that same full count of four, just to completely be present in your body. My cues are just a suggestion to the today. No need to be like too committed to everything that I'm doing. Just follow your own flow. So coming onto the back, allowing for your heels to rest, into the bottom of your mat. Toes are laying out towards the side. Palms facing up, receiving energy in the space. Taking a moment here, rolling the shoulders away from the ears, finding that full contact with the back of the body on the mat. Taking a deep breath in through the nose, filling up through the low belly, through the chest. Pausing here. And gently exhale. One more breath in through the nose. And gently exhaling through parted lips. Slowly begin to bring life into the body, wiggling your fingers and toes. Maybe shifting your thighs from side to side. From here, you're slowly gonna curl your knees in towards the chest. Releasing the soles of the feet onto your mat. Ensure that you can reach forward and grab hold of your heels. Taking a moment here, tucking the tailbones down towards the feet. Ensuring there's no gap at the low back. Full contact with the back of your mat. From here, crossing the right ankle over the left knee. Coming into a figure four position with the legs. Flexing through the right foot. The right palm is gonna rest gently on the right thigh. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And on your exhale, gently press the thigh away from the face. Continue flexing through the foot here, guys. One more breath in through the nose. And exhale as you gently press the thigh away. Slowly releasing the palm from the thigh, interlacing the palm around the left thigh, coming into a supine pigeon. Take a deep breath in here. Fingertips are around the left thigh. Deep breath in. And on your exhale, slowly bending the knees in towards the face. Pulling the shins in towards the nose. Using the elbow to open up the thigh. We're gonna pause here for three breaths. Inhale and exhale. Deep breath in as you expand through the belly. Exhale as you release, final breath. And on your exhale, slowly release the bind of the fingertips. The sole of the foot is coming back onto the mat. Release the leg, shift your hips from side to side to reset. Ensure there's no space at the low back here, guys. Crossing the left ankle over the right knee. Figure four on the other side, flexing through the foot. Right palm is gonna land on the left thigh. Take a deep breath in here. And on your exhale, gently pressing the thigh away from the face. One more breath, just like that, inhale. And on your exhale, gently open up through that hip flexor. Reaching forward, interlacing the fingers around the thighs, pulling your, your knee in towards the chest, supine pigeon, using the left elbow to open up the thigh. You should feel this stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes. Take a deep breath in. 
And on your exhale, slowly bring the knees in closer towards the nose. One more breath. Expanding through the belly. Exhale as you release. Slowly releasing the bind of the front fingertips. Sole of the foot coming back down onto your mat. Adjusting the hips here, reaching forward, ensuring you can touch your heels with your fingertips. Tuck the tailbone down towards the heels once again. On your inhale, you're slowly gonna lift the hips up, fingertips to follow. Gazing straight up towards the sky, pressing down equally through the soles of the feet. Thighs are wrapping in towards one another, pausing here for four, three, two, and one. On your exhale, slowly releasing everything back down onto your mat. Fingertips to follow. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, sinking up with the breath, lifting the belly button up towards the sky. Exhale as you slowly bring the tailbone down back onto your mat. Final breath here, inhale. Let's pause at the top, holding for four, three, two, and one, slowly as you exhale, bringing the tailbone back down onto the mat. Reaching forward, grabbing hold of the back of the thighs, rock to roll, making your way up to the top of the mat. I'm gonna meet you in a cross leg seat. I'm gonna sit in the middle of your mat, but you can just like sit at the top. Pausing here, moving the flesh from underneath your six bones. Rolling the shoulder back. Pausing here as you close the eyes. Releasing the fingertips by the hips. Pressing down into the right palm. You're gonna reach up with the left fingertips. Gaze following the fingers. Side bending towards the right. Deep breath in and exhale. One more time as you lengthen. And on your exhale, slowly releasing the fingers back onto the mat. Pressing the left palm down into the mat here. Reaching the right fingertips up and overhead. Side bending towards the left. Gazing up towards the fingers. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. One more breath in as you lengthen. And on your exhale, slowly float the fingers, tips back down. We're gonna roll over the shins, making your way into a tabletop position. I'm not gonna cue you through cat-cow, but if that's a part of your practice, feel free to take a couple rounds on your own. Otherwise, we're gonna press down through the palms, curling the toes under, send the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Slowly beginning to pedal up the feet, coming high on the toes, performing any ritual that feels comfortable in your first downward facing dog. Generous bend through the knees here, guys. Releasing the chest towards the thighs. Once you've had enough movement, slowly begin to lengthen through the, th through the thighs, sinking the heels down towards the back edge of your mat. Release the head as you shake the head side to side. Take a deep breath in, coming high on the toes, bending through the knees. Let's gaze between the palms, Either step or hop towards the top edge of your mat. From here, inhale, flat back. Exhale as you release. Generous bend in the knees here, guys. Relaxing the chest on the thighs. Let's grab hold of the opposite elbows, opposite palms. Slowly swing from side to side. Gently waking up the back of the body. Relaxing your head down here, shake it from side to side, yes or no. Releasing the fingertips right in front of the toes. We're gonna inhale here, lengthen the spine, crown radiates forward, pull the shoulders back. Exhale as you release. Taking a deep breath in, slowly rolling the spine up to a stand. The head is the last to come up. Rolling the shoulders back once again. Palms of the hands are gonna face forward at the hips. Ensuring that your, your feet are about hip distance apart here, guys. Let's roll the shoulders back. 
Inhale as you sweep the fingertips up and overhead. Interlacing the fingers. Point your fingers pointing up towards the sky. Tuck the tailbone, pull the, the core in. Let's roll the shoulder blades away from the ears. Deep breath in. Exhale as you side bend towards the right. Gazing up towards the sky. Bringing your weight into the right foot. You're gonna take a step back and off to the side. Elongating through the calf. We're gonna be here for five, four, three. You should feel a stretch on the left side of the body. Two, and one. Slowly make your way back through center. Relax the fingertips back down towards the hips. Cultivating that energy, sweeping the fingertips back up and overhead. Interlace the fingers, rolling the shoulder blades back. Tuck the tailbone. Core pulls in. Inhale as you side bend to the left. Bringing the weight into the left foot. Take a large step back and off to the side. You should feel a stretch in the calf and the hip flexors, gazing up towards the ceiling for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back through center, releasing the fingertips down here. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale as you sweep the hands up towards the sky. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale, flat back here. Exhale as you release. Root to rise one more time, rolling the spine back up. Shoulders stack over the hips. Bringing your hands onto your hips here. We're going to take a large step back with the right toes. Your feet are going to face the long edge of your yoga mat, palms at heart center. The tailbone is rooting down towards the heels into the mat. On your inhale, breathe in, filling up the belly. Exhale, bending into the right leg, expanding through the arms, gazing forward, chest is proud. Inhale, back through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, right. Inhale, back through center. Final time on the left. Exhale. Inhale, back through center. Close your eyes here. Palms are at heart center. Roll the shoulders back. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through parted lips. Releasing the fingertips, opening the eyes. Palms are coming back on the hips. Square the hips, step to the top of your mat. Bringing your feet either Hip distance apart or big toes to touch. Sun salutation A, sweeping the fingertips up. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the spine. Exhale as you plant the palm, step or hop back, chaturanga. Flow through a vinyasa here, taking the back bend of your choice, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Sending the hips back and up. If you're feeling any stiffness in the legs, continue to bend through the knees. Rolling the shoulders back. One more breath here. Deep breath in through the nose. And exhale. Gazing up between the palms, step or hop towards the top of your mat. Inhale here, flat back, lengthen the spine. Exhale as you release. Inhale, root to rise, fingertips sweep up and overhead. Palms to touch. Bring the fingertips through heart center. Relaxing the fingers by the hips. Let's roll the shoulder blades back. Standing proud and tall. Inhale, fingertips sweep up and overhead. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the spine, gaze forward. Exhale as you drop the head down, gazing towards the belly button here. Fold. Plant the palms, step or hop back. Take a vinyasa. Yogi's choice, you can always drop your knees in your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Breathing in and out through the nose. 
Calming the breath. Final inhale. On your exhale, coming high on the toes, bend through the knees. Step or hop towards the top of your mat. Inhale here, flat back. Exhale as you release, lengthening through the legs. Root to rise, fingertips sweep up and overhead. Bringing your palms to a touch. Settling in at heart center, close your eyes. Cultivating that energy, finding the heat in our body. Releasing the fingertips down here. Let's bring the big toes to touch, slight gap between the heels. On your inhale, sink the hips back. Sitting low into a chair, fingertips reach up towards the ceiling, gaze to follow. Exhale as you fold forward. Crown of the head towards your mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the palms. Take a vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Take one full breath here. Inhaling, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Bringing your weight into your right heel. Left toes are gonna point up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Take a breath here. On your exhale, bringing the knee in towards the nose, stepping forward, setting up for a high crescent lunge. Fingertips reach up towards the ceiling, gazing up. Energy through the fingertips, breathe in, and on your exhale, cactus the arms. One more breath in, fingertips up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, fold forward, framing the front leg, step back, take a vinyasa. Inhale, upward down. Exhale, downward facing dog. One full breath here. Inhale to four, three, two, one. And exhale, two, three, four. Sinking the heels down towards the back of your mat. Bringing your weight into the left heel. Right toes pointing up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Deep breath in. On your exhale, knee towards nose. Stepping through, setting up for your crescent lunge. Your knee isn't passing your toes here, just above your ankle. Root to rise, fingertips overhead. Pausing here as you breathe. Gazing up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you cactus the arms, opening up through the chest and the collarbones. Inhale one more time, fingertips up and overhead. Exhale as you fold forward, framing the front leg. Stepping back, flowing through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Finding stillness here, three breaths. Breathing in and out through the nose. Calming the breath. Calming the body down. Pressing down equally through the palms. You should be able to see your mat in between your fingers. Bringing stillness into the back of the legs. From here, let's drop our weight into the right heel once again. Inhale, left toes up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bringing the knee in, stepping through. Setting up this time for warrior two, spiraling the arms open. Setting up your foundation, take your time. Your knee is over your ankle here. Arms are in a T position. Your gaze is passing the middle finger of the front hand. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, sink lower through the thighs. One more breath in. And exhale. Reach forward, up and back, exalt your warrior. Exhale, coming back through center. Grounding down through the front heel. You're gonna lengthen through the front leg, setting up for extended triangle. Back hip is radiating to the back of your mat. Left finger is reaching as far as you can forward until you tilt. Finding your space on your lower leg. Maybe you're at the shin, maybe you're at the ankle, maybe you're at the toe. Finding that straight line. Gazing up towards the sky for five, four, three, two, and one. Using your core here. 
finding that connection to the middle of the body, bending through the left knee once again, coming back to your warrior two. Deep inhale. Exhale, sink lower. Reach forward, up and back as you exalt your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the arms forward. Plant the palms, step back, vinyasa. Inhale to the back bend of your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take two breaths here. Breathing in and out through the nose. Taking this moment as a rest between the strength building through the power. Pressing down through the palms. Final breath here, in through the nose, and out through parted lips. Let's drop our weight into the left heel. Right toes reach up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, knee travels towards the front of your mat. Stepping through, setting up for warrior two on the other side. Sinking low through the front knee. Your, the knife edge of your left foot is pressing into the back of your mat. Arms in a T. Take a deep breath in here, expanding. On your exhale, drop a little bit lower through the legs. One more breath in and exhale. Take a moment here, reach forward, up and back. Exalt your warrior. Inhale, back to standing. Take a deep breath in. We're going a little bit lower through the thigh. Exalt your warrior. We're gonna come back to standing. Your, your arms are in a T position. Pressing down through the front heel. Lengthening through the front knee. The left hip pressing towards the back of your mat to reach forward. Dropping the fingertips towards your mat. Finding its place on the leg. Maybe at the ankle. Gazing up here for five, four, three, two, and one. Using the core here to bring us back to our warrior two, bending through the front leg. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Exalt your warrior. Bringing the arms back up to a T. Cartwheel the arms back. Plant the palms. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Or lower your knees onto your mat. Coming into a wide leg child's pose. Sinking your hips down towards the heels, allowing the forehead to rest gently on your mat. Allowing the body to come down from building heat. Taking one more full breath here. If you're in child's pose, slowly make your way back to your downward facing dog. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Gazing between the palms. Step or hop towards the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale as you release. Root to rise, fingertips reach up and overhead. Final sun salutation here. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale as you release the palms, step or hop back, flowing through your vinyasa, or skip it. We're gonna meet back in downward facing dog. Two full breaths here in downward dog. Releasing the heels to the back of your mat. Deep breath in as you bend through the knees, coming high on the toes. Gazing forward, we're going to hop to a seat in the middle of our mat. Extend, extending the legs out long, flexing through the feet. Remove the flesh from underneath. Sitting up tall, gazing towards the big toes. From here, we're going to reach the fingertips up and overhead, pulling the belly button in towards the spine. Exhale, lean forward. We're going to take our two-piece fingers 
Wrap them around the big toes, bending through the elbows. Sending the hips to the back of your mat. You're gazing forward towards the big toes. Take a deep breath here. Lengthen the spine. Exhale as you fold forward. No need to crank the body down here. I want you to continue to gaze forward. Pausing here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release the bind. Allow your fingertips to walk you back in space. From here, you're gonna bend the right knee in towards the chest. The sole of the foot is pressing down, rooting down into your mat. Allow for your right fingertips to come behind your body. Inhale, lift fingertips up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, you're gonna to twist towards the right side, grabbing hold of your knee, gazing over the shoulder. Let's take three full breaths here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, no need to crank the spine, just casually gazing over the shoulder. Final breath here. And on your exhale, slowly bring the chest back to center, switching through the legs. Left knee comes in towards the chest, pressing down into the mat. Pulling the chest in, left fingertips behind the back. Right fingertips reach up towards ceiling, gaze to follow. On your exhale, twisting towards the left, grabbing hold of the knee, gazing over the left shoulder. Three breaths here. Continue to have awareness through the right leg, flexing through the foot. Final breath. Together, inhale through the nose. And exhale, slowly bring your chest back through center, extend the leg out long. We're gonna pop the fingertips forward, interlace the palms. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, slowly lower the back down onto your mat. Check your way down, make sure you're not gonna hit anything, maybe adjust yourself on the mat. Finding your space back on your back, releasing the palms into a T once again. Let's bring the knees into a reverse tabletop. Inhale here. And on your exhale, slowly drop the knees off to the right side. Ensuring both shoulders are still rooted down into your mat. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Final breath here through the nose and exhale. Slowly bringing the knees back through center, ensuring there's no gap at the low back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop the knees off to the left. Relaxing the shoulders into the mat, taking the gaze in the opposite direction of the knees. Breathing in and out here. Taking one final breath in through the nose and out through the nose. On your next inhale, bring the knees back through center. Let's wrap the fingertips around the, th the shins, bringing the knees in towards the chest. Curl up into a tiny ball. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, let it all go. Relaxing the body. Back into your Shavasana, a final resting posture. Feel free to stay here in your Shavasana as long as you like. Close your eyes. Allow yourself to take note of the work we've done in the body, feeling the heat. Feeling your breath calm down, your nervous system regulating itself. Love to end our practice with one unified breath. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And on your exhale, part your lips, push it all out. I wanna thank each and every one of you for joining me today. Showing up for yourself, making time for your practice. Hopefully see you guys again soon. Leave a note in the comments if you like my music, if you like the flow, if you have any questions, let me know. Peace guys.